My dear students, today we are going to discuss ASEAN, Association of South East Asian Nations. This is a 10 member uh, association or alliance. The objective is go for mutual economic cooperation, ultimately taking you towards the aspired economic prosperity. This culture, I mean uh, collaboration, uh, regional collaboration for economic development propped up and got its uh, uh, encouragement by the success story of European Union. You know, these nations of European Union, they fought two big wars, World War I and World War II. And subsequently they learned the best way to move forward economically and socially is to collaborate and cooperate. Therefore, they started to nullify the uh, border restrictions and protectionist policy first while going on. The protectionism is to protect your own nascent industrial setups, you start imposing heavy duties on all your imports. As recently you have seen, United States has embarked upon that policy. It has started imposing heavy duties, particularly from China. And WTO culture is antithesis of protectionism. You get away with all these uh, tariff and import duties and allow the goods to move freely around the globe. Let the goods compete among themselves. Let the quality compete for itself. Therefore, this uh, recipe was followed by ASEAN by looking into the uh, European Union. And these 10 countries, they decided in 1967 uh, to establish uh, this ASEAN, though its charter was signed subsequently in 2008. These 10 countries are uh, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, Philippines, Brunei. These are the 10 countries. Uh, I'm going to draw the map so that you may see uh, where it is located and how they collaborated. The most important point was uh, for this uh, collaboration or the hindrance or the stumbling block was there were certain internal disputes. They first decided we will not discuss these internal disputes or the rifts warranty with us, uh, which, 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 which must not act as, as, as a bottleneck uh, towards the uh, progress of this alliance. Therefore, uh, this uh, any any rift or any any issue or any conflict, I mean, with with regard to the boundaries or the regional uh, disputes, will not be discussed in in this platform. And this happened. And this, this basically was the main cause if this alliance is moving forward. And when we uh, consider this point, uh, you can very easily judge that why SARC has not taken off up till now. The reason being, we have certain uh, internal disputes and regional disputes which are really checking us from moving forward. Okay, before going forward, I would try to draw the map of uh, this alliance. I start from Pakistan, though it's not the member, but it will be easy for you to see where this uh, alliance is. This is Pakistan, Kashmir over here, India, and now we are moving towards this ASEAN. You know this is Bangladesh, Burma, this is Thailand. And here is Laos, here we have Cambodia, Cambodia, Laos, and here is the Vietnam. This is Malaysia, <coughs> Myanmar, here is Singapore, and you know this is all Indonesia. Here is Brunei, very small country. 
and kingdom as well. Which here, and here you can see this is Australia. Okay, <clears throat> and here is Philippines. These are also islands. Philippines, Indonesia. Uh, no, this is uh, complete now. This is South China Sea. South China Sea, and this is Korea, and here is Japan. Japan. This is South Korea and this is North Korea. I'm mentioning these because we have to discuss how to all this thing. This is an important uh, uh, alliance uh, for the reason its uh, GDP is uh, around 2.6 trillion dollars nowadays and it is population wise 9% of the world. And why these countries collaborated and they made it a success story? Literacy percentage of this area that played an important role. The literacy, average literacy rate of this uh, region is around 95%. And there are uh, uh, many countries which have around 99% literacy percentage. This uh, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, uh, these have uh, 99%. The least literate country of this region is the Laos, which is 80%. And you know what is of Pakistan. Pakistan is just 57% literacy rate. And that can tell where we are or how we are in the world. If we look at female education, it will be able to increase the figure. Because we are against uh, not that much encouraged to. Uh, send our girls particularly to uh, education institutions and take them even higher. This may a reason, thodi si, a jo hai dispute in Gaon jata hai, kabhi thoda sa, wo hai kuch South China Sea ke island. These islands are known as Spartry Islands over here, near Philippines. These are 750 in number, Spartry Islands. And there are some others, Known as parasites. These are the islands. These are claimed by many countries. Philippines, they claim for it. Even Malaysia claim for them. Vietnam claim, and the China claim for that. The reason being, the area in which these are situated is rich in oil and gas. Iske alawa, fishing kabi ek istekar mil jata hai, aur air strips bhi mil jati hain. Or uh, dusra jo navigation ke liye important uh, jo route hai, uh, Chinese uh, is Islam exports ke liye yahan se, ye yahan se hota hua, state of Malacca se, Indian Ocean, or beyond ye jata hai. Is liye, lekin ye dispute jo hai, is ke baag jud ye organization aage ja raha hai, Isko is had tak ye jadat nahi de de, ke it starts telling upon the progress of this alliance. Ye side lines were discussed hota hai during uh, conferences and meetings. Or ye success story ki sab se badi misal ye hai, ke when it started performing, to ye uske baad China, Japan or South Korea ne kaha, hume bhi associate ko. And ye phir uh, ASEAN plus three ban gaya. Or uske baad New Zealand, Australia, or India ne kaha ke we also want to associate with it. To phir ye 10 plus 3, again plus 3, 16. Or recently, Russia or United States ne bhi khaj ka dhar kiya, we also become part of that, we want to collaborate with you. Or, or is wakt jo hai, ye ASEAN economic community, is sare ko, ab hum kehate hai ke ye ASEAN economic community ban gai hai, aur ye free trade, area ban raha hai uh, in tamam wale ke saath aur dusra uh, ye hai ke ASEAN plus 3 hai Japan, uh, South Korea and, and China to isko kehte hai East Asia Summit to isme uh, phir ye baad mein ye bhi shamil ho gaye New Zealand, Australia, India aur annual basis par East Asia uh, jo iski summit hoti hai aur apne mutual जो इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स हैं और टैरिफ्स और ड्यूटीज को टोटली अबॉलिश करने में तो इट्स गोइंग फॉरवर्ड
तो बोले जी ये है इसका सेक्रेटेरियट जकार्ता इंडोनेशिया का कैपिटल भी है और इसका यहाँ ये ये जकार ये है और ये इन्वायरमेंटल इश्यूज को भी इन्होंने बड़ा पिछले कुछ अरसे में फोकस किया इसमें डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन के लिए भी इन्होंने एक डिसीजन लिया है कि बाई द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी वी वॉन्ट टू सेल्फ सफिशेंट इन डिफेंस प्रोडक्शन एंड दे मीन दैट एंड दे विल डू दैट और सारे डिस्प्यूट जैसे मैंने अर्ज किया कि पीसफुल सेटलमेंट के जरिए ये करते हैं और फिर बाई लुकिंग एट द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ दिस अलायंस जनरल असम्बली हैव ग्रांटेड आसियान स्टेटस ऑफ ऑब्जर्वर और इवन यू एन का नुमाइंदा भी इनकी मीटिंग में बैठता है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडे आई एम ब्रीफ ऑन दैट आई एम नॉट टचिंग ऑल द सब्जेक्ट ऑल द एरियाज and it is up to you now you uh, add more information more knowledge more references to make it a real uh, impressive one my objective is to give you the basics to give you the basics to give you the idea of the issues why these uh, alliances are there why is issues crop up and how they are settled therefore uh, i hope uh, you will be, uh, be uh, benefited from that or and uh, you will move forward and make it more impressive